Hey guys, we are not all amazing artists, so today I want to talk about a free AI-generated art app that doesn't have credits, you don't need to pay for it, you don't even need to create a login uh, to get these images, although you do only get one at a time rather than four with the free version. Anyway, uh, so this is Dream by Wombo, and you are allowed to use these commercially, say on print on demand, as long as you attribute uh, the art to Wombo in your product description, and I'll have an email later uh, that I'll show you that proves that. And so we have it in writing, and you guys know that this is safe to use. And what we have here is actually my phone. Uh, it's something called Samsung Dex, and it shows what's on my phone for the most part, and my phone actually just disconnected. But as you can see here, um, kind of. Anyway. That is the Dream by Wombo app. I'm sorry about the quality there, uh, but I'm going to pull it back up. It disconnected when I grabbed my phone to show you. But anyway, Dream by Wombo, as you can see here. And we'll go more into it on Samsung Dex again there. Okay, we're back. So let's go ahead and open this. And I actually haven't tried this on my computer, so hopefully it will work. And there it is. This is what the app looks like, kind of. Um, obviously, the format's a little different when I have it on my computer here. But I'll go ahead and give you a rundown of what it looks like here. Hopefully it's the same so I can go through it, uh, you know, pretty easily here with you guys. And so we're going to click the plus sign here. And this actually does look exactly like it does on the app. So, uh, prompt history, let's go with one of their recommendations. Let's do Erupting Volcano. And then line art is one of my absolute favorites, uh, favorite design styles for print on demand because it's so easy to remove a background and it prints really well. So we're gonna click that and erupting volcano. And then we're gonna click create here. And this just takes a couple seconds, usually uh, under 30 seconds. So let's see how long it takes now. And there we go. We have it finished. Uh, you can blow this one up to full size and that would be your design. Uh, line art is usually black and white. I've had a couple times when color gets in there not sure how that happens, but anyway. Uh, these other ones are premium. As you can see, you'd have to pay for those. And let's actually look at this. As I mentioned earlier, um, you do not need to have an account. When I click up here, as you can see, I am not logged in. Uh, it wants me to buy there, or it has the option to, but I'm not logged in at all here. I just have the app and then did not create even a free account. I just used it as is. And then of course, as promised, here is that email proving that we're allowed to use this for commercial use. And let's uh, zoom in here so you can read it better. That looks pretty good to me. I'm sorry if you can't read this. So this is from Wombo AI, which is, uh, you know, Wombo, Dream by Wombo. And then subject is just what their standard FAQ was, or the submission form was website media inquiry. And my question was if you could use it commercially, their response here. Hi, John, thank you for your email. Yes, you may use Dreams commercially as long as you credit Wombo Dream. So that means in your product description, you would credit Wombo Dream uh, for the art. This is from Sammy Pierre, the content lead over at Wombo. One really cool thing that you can do with Wombo Dream is you can model it after existing images. So we're gonna select my dog here at a birthday party. And um, so, well, we can't see this, but it's him. Uh, he looks super happy, has a birthday party hat on. And then the influence, how much influence do you want this picture to have on the art? So let's go cartoonist with this one. We're gonna go normal there and let's go dog birthday. And go ahead and click create here. And I've had a lot of fun playing around, playing around with Wombo. And <laughs> that's actually, Pretty cool, that's very accurate. Uh, I might actually wanna save that one. But something like this, if you have an image that you're like, wow, that would really work well on print on demand, you can go ahead and create the likeness there. So you can also you know, say there's just a weak influence. Let's click create, again, under cartoonist. So we're just gonna see what comes up. And it looks like uh, it got it in large part <laughs> the same. It's not showing up full screen here because again this is formatted for a phone as you can see it cuts off on my computer screen so I tried scrolling it's not working but you can kind of tell on this picture here that it took the dog and the hat and that's just about it so let's go back let's do one more let's actually go up to strong here and click create 
And again, it just takes a couple seconds. It usually takes about this long on the phone as well. And <laughs> funnily enough, I kind of thought the second one was the most accurate, but this one's really cute as well. Not necessarily something I would put on a shirt, but I like it. Um, let's actually see what line art does and going over to normal, even though I don't know how they would make this line art. I'm interested in seeing. Okay, so there we go. Uh, that's what it looks like in line art. And then you just have to remove this background, which if you use a tool like GIMP and the erase tool by similar colors, that would be very easy to do. It's really fun to go through here and really just explore. So we can go to street art here. And instead of dog birthday, let's do like dog celebration. I capitalized the wrong one, but it should understand. And so, of course, it doesn't have to be dog, but with the dog being the subject of this image, uh, I wanted to use dog there. So that is his face, minus a little white around the nose and just under the nose there. So <laughs> I really like that, um, using the dog. But anyway, go ahead, download Wombo, uh, Dream by Wombo, and mess around go see what you can make and see what you think would sell well on a shirt if you do put it on somewhere like redbubble or amazon merch on demand remember to attribute them uh, just in your description and i don't know if you need to leave a link or anything because i didn't see a link but possibly just go to their website leave that link and i'll put it below as well although uh, it's an app so you'll find it in the google play or apple store a lot easier than going from the website if you were here this last Saturday, November 5th of 2022, in case you're watching this in the future, uh, for the live interactive niche research, you would know that one of the ones that we found was I do what I want cat. So pretty low competition and it sells well. So let's check that out and see what uh, this, what Wombo can come up with. Let's do cartoon. And uh, actually I think there's a meme one on here, right here, meme. Meme style does not support input images. That's fine. I wanted to check some out without input images. So let's click create here. And it usually pops up in like four boxes from my experience, um, at least on the phone. This one looks like it's going to be more than that. And uh, it's not really a meme. Let's just type in like funny here. And we'll click that again. Let's see what it comes up with. And again, this usually takes under 30 seconds. Um, it's taking a little bit longer here, I think, because there are multiple. This one looks like it failed. Click retry there. See what it comes up with. And if not, we'll go select a different style. And I'm not a fan of those memes. <laughs> it's really just messing up the faces. So let's go ahead and let's go to line art again, just because I tend to like line art. And this looks like it is just giving us a cat. So let's do this. Cat saying I do what I want. And I don't know if this will work. I don't know if like a text bubble will pop up. I've never tried this before. So learning this just as you guys are. Nope, looks like no text bubble there. So I don't know if that will work. Let's see, cat pushing off table. These cats like to push items off tables. So we're going to go ahead and create here. Again, we're under line art because that is my favorite. Looks like this one isn't working, but that's good to know. I wanted to play around with it, see just how in-depth uh, Wombo can get. So it looks like there's... Uh, that's not going to work for cats, at least not if they're doing something or saying something. I'm curious what this happy little fluff balls is, so let's go over to a cartoon as well because I think that sounds like something that would work well with cartoons. And here we are. Yep, those are definitely happy little fluff balls. Anyway, let's try it with... Let's go polygon here. And it's really just fun to play around with and see what your favorite styles are. This one would not work well in print on demand because of the background, I really think. Uh, that would be kind of hard to remove. It's different shades, so the bucket tool wouldn't work amazing. Obviously, you could get it to work. It would just take a little extra effort. Um, wouldn't put that on a shirt anyway, but it's just good to know. So let's go ahead and let's go with street art and let's do something like a Penrose triangle. Click create here. 
And uh, the recommendations up at the top seem to change all the time. And there you go. There is your Penrose triangle. That actually might be something that could go on a shirt. Let's go ahead. Uh, so assuming you remove the background, it could go on a shirt. Let's look at Amazon and see what the competition is like. All right, so I Googled it, Penrose triangle shirt, and it looks like there are about 1,000 results. And uh, let's see, eight reviews there. There are no, there's one sponsored, not gonna click on that. And let's go here. Such a simple design, eight five-star reviews at $15.99. So while I don't know how many times this has sold, uh, probably quite a few since it's been up since uh, June of 2018. And with a BSR of about 2.3 million, which isn't great, but uh, for this example, at least we have BSRs and it's something that we can create easily. Let's go over here and actually go back. I'm gonna do line art again, because I do seem to like that one best, as I've mentioned a couple times here. And in this case, I don't think I like that better than the last one. So uh, looking at it just now, even though it's not done, I don't think that would work. Let's click again and it just, you can do this as many times as you want. On a lot of sites, there are credits and you have to pay. And on Wombo, you can do it as many times as you want for free. The only thing you'd have to pay for is faster processing time, although I think it's just fine as it is. And then you would be able to get these extra three as well. So you get four designs instead of one. And I think that's gonna be it for today's video. I want you guys to be able to go out and try it out on your own, experiment with it, see how it works. Again, just remember if you do use it, you have to attribute them in their, or in your description, your product description. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still with me, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.